might have heard of mushrooms growing in the wild, but what if I told you that some fungi are thriving in one of the most dangerous places on Earth? Picture this, radioactive waste, a place where no life should survive, yet a specific mushroom has figured out how to thrive there. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of radioactive fungi, exploring incredible stories of mushrooms that have adapted to some of the most extreme environments imaginable. From nuclear disaster zones to toxic wastelands, these fungi don't just survive they thrive. You're not going to believe where they've been found and what they're capable of doing. What if a mushroom could grow in a place where nothing else can survive? It sounds impossible, but there's a mushroom that thrives in radioactive waste, a place that would kill most other life forms in a matter of minutes. In fact, some fungi have found a way not just to survive, but to thrive in some of the world's most dangerous environments. One particular species of mushroom can even feed off radiation itself. But how is that even possible? Let's take a look at some of the science behind these radioactive fungi. What's it like for mushroom to grow in the most radioactive places on Earth? In the aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster, where radiation levels are off the charts, a special kind of fungus called Cladosporium ferrospermum was found thriving in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. This mushroom doesn't just survive, it feeds on radiation. While most organisms would be killed by the over overwhelming levels of radiation, this mushroom has a very unique ability. It uses radiation as a source of energy. You may have heard of plants converting sunlight to food, but this is an entirely different process. Researchers have discovered that in these mushrooms, they can turn radiation into chemical energy. This allows it to survive in an environment where nothing else could. Scientists believe this process is similar to plants converting light into energy through photosynthesis, but in the case of this mushroom, it's a form of radiation radiotrophic growth. They're even studying how this process could be replicated to help clean up contaminated environments. Could this be the future of radiation removal? It's definitely a mind-blowing thought, considering how incredibly dangerous radiation is to most living creatures. So like I said, could mushrooms be the key to cleaning up radioactive waste? What if I told you the same mushrooms thriving in Chernobyl might hold the answer to one of humanity's most pressing problems? Of course, nuclear waste. Studies have shown that certain fungi, like the Fusarium species, have the unique ability to absorb radioactive materials. They essentially act like biological sponges, soaking up harmful isotopes and breaking them down. This process is called bioremediation. It's not science fiction. Scientists are seriously exploring fungi's potential in cleaning up contaminated sites. In the future, we could see entire mushroom farms dedicated to cleaning up nuclear waste. Who knew that fungi could be the Earth's cleanup crew? In the wake of a nuclear disaster, some mushrooms were found growing at ground zero. How did they survive? After nuclear tests, the land surrounding the blast sites is usually considered a dead zone, inhospitable to life. Yet in 1957, a strange thing happened at the Nevada test site. Mushrooms were found growing just a few miles from ground zero in a place where most life would have perished. Scientists later discovered that these mushrooms were feeding off the radioactive particles left behind from the test. It turns out these mushrooms weren't only resilient, they had found a way to use radiation as a food source. How's that for nature's survival skills? Years after the Fukushima disaster, one species of fungi has been found thriving in this contaminated area. After the catastrophic meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, radiation levels were so high that the area was evacuated for miles around. But life has a funny way of finding a way. Just like in Chernobyl, those same mushrooms were found thriving in the radioactive soil, continuing its unique ability to survive under extreme conditions. While humans had to flee from the disaster, the fungi seemed to flourish. In fact, scientists have discovered that these mushrooms are not only surviving in the radiation, they're actually growing faster than expected. One of the most fascinating aspects of this is the way the fungi adapt to their environment. 
Over time, the radiation levels decreased and the fungi seemed to respond accordingly, adjusting their growth rates. The research into this fungus is ongoing and the possibilities for its use in environmental cleanup are astounding. The discovery of fungi flourishing in such a hostile environment raises questions about how resilient life forms can be and what other organisms might be hiding out there, adapting in ways we've yet to fully understand. What if a mushroom could actually help clean up environmental pollution too? Some mushrooms aren't just about surviving radiation, they can also absorb harmful metals like lead, arsenic, and cadmium. Pleurotus ostritus, also known as the oyster mushroom, is one of these unsung heroes. Found growing in polluted soils and even urban waste, this mushroom has the ability to absorb heavy metals and break them down, neutralizing the toxic substances in the process. So not only are these mushrooms cleaning up radioactive waste, they're also helping combat the growing pollution problem on Earth. Could the same mushrooms that thrive on Earth's radioactive waste one day survive in outer space? NASA has been exploring how fungi could play a vital role in space travel. You see, space radiation is a huge concern for astronauts traveling beyond Earth's protective atmosphere, but some fungi have been shown to survive space conditions. That's right, fungi that thrive on radiation here on Earth might one day help us to survive space radiation. Scientists are studying these fungi to see if they could help protect astronauts on long missions, or even act as a source of food and oxygen during space exploration. Imagine a mushroom farm on Mars. What happens when mushrooms grow in caves with high levels of natural radiation? Deep underground in caves rich with minerals and naturally occurring radiation, another strange phenomenon occurs. Mushrooms, like those found in the Cueva de las Cucarachas in Mexico, grow in pitch darkness and high levels of natural radiation. Scientists have been intrigued by these fungi because they can survive conditions that would be lethal to to most living things. The mushroom's ability to metabolize and tolerate radiation is still being studied, but it's clear that these fungi have adapted to life in the most extreme environments here on Earth. Why are mushrooms so good at adapting to toxic environments? The secret to mushrooms' survival lies in their incredible adaptability. Mushrooms are part of the fungal kingdom which has evolved to thrive in environments most organisms wouldn't even dare enter. One of the key reasons they can survive radiation is melanin. Yes, the same pigment that gives mushrooms their color also helps protect them from radiation. Melanin absorbs the radiation and converts it into chemical energy, allowing the mushrooms to grow and reproduce even in highly toxic areas. This could be a game changer for bioremediation products and even human technology. Could these amazing mushrooms one day save humanity from its own radioactive waste? If scientists are right, these mushrooms could be the key to solving one of the most dangerous issues facing humanity today radioactive waste. With their ability to absorb and break down radiation, fungi could play a vital role in cleaning up contaminated areas and creating a safer environment for future generations. The unique properties of certain fungi make them natural candidates for bioremediation projects where they could be used to decontaminate toxic environments. Imagine a world where mushrooms are used not just for food or medicine, but as the planet's cleanup crew. Their ability to break down harmful chemicals, absorb radiation, and even neutralize heavy metals could revolutionize how we handle nuclear waste. This would not only reduce the risk of long-term contamination, but also create a sustainable method for managing waste that has been building up for decades. And it's not just about cleaning up the Earth. Scientists are looking into how these fungi could be used in space exploration, helping astronauts survive in environments with high levels of cosmic radiation. Could we one day use radioactive mushrooms to help make space travel a reality. The future possibilities are endless, and we've only begun to scratch the surface of what these incredible fungi can do. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.